Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing by hitting the red button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my latest Louis Vuitton purchase, the round coin purse. I'll give you a quick tour of this little piece, explain to you why I decided to buy it and give you my initial impressions on this round coin purse. So without further ado, let's get started. With all Louis Vuitton purchases, you get your item in a lovely box like this. And the round coin purse comes in a box that is like a drawer when you open it. Take it out right here. And then you've got the dust bag. Open it up. And there is the round coin purse. It measures 3.75 inches in diameter and 0.4 inches deep. It has a lovely monogram canvas on both sides with the LV centered right there. You've got the untreated Vecchetta trim at the bottom that you see right here. And if you are familiar with Louis Vuitton and this type of leather, it will start to patina or honey over time and will be a really lovely color uh, with this canvas right here. You've got the LV on this zipper pull right there and you also have it on the other side as well. Open it up. And by the way, the zipper on this piece is just absolute butter. It's such a great, great smooth zipper. You open it up and that is the interior. It's like a terracotta color. You've got the Louis Vuitton Paris made in France right there. And then in here, you've got the textile card right there telling you it's coated fabric. And then this is the item number right there. And like I said, you open it up and you've got this huge compartment and you can see right down there is where the date stamp is for this particular piece. Oh, I almost forgot. This round coin purse currently retails on the Louis Vuitton website for 260 US dollars. The reason I ended up purchasing the round coin purse was actually because of my full-size origami wallet from Louis Vuitton. If you recall, I purchased that beautiful retired piece from Fashion File and ended up rehabbing it a bit after acquiring it because it did have some signs of wear that I was able to fix. And I actually, if you recall, shared both the unboxing and my rehab efforts on my channel. If you did not see those videos, I will make sure to link both those videos down below so that you can watch them. But I got that wallet, I'm using it, I'm loving it, and I am concerned about the coin compartment in that wallet showing wear over time. Now let me show you what I mean. This is the lovely full-size origami wallet, and this is typically where I place my coins. The lining on this wallet, as you see right here, is this smooth leather lining, and it's not that pebbled interior that's like, in the round coin purse that you see right here. To be honest with you, the lining in the origami wallet does not feel durable whatsoever. And in fact, I have family members that have older pieces from Louis Vuitton that have lining like this that have completely disintegrated over time. They peel and they just do not look good at all. And I worried that if I continue to use this compartment for coins, because I have nails and sometimes they're longer than others, if I kept constantly going in and out of this compartment that I was going to end up scratching the interior to the point where I might kind of cut through that lining and ruin it. Now granted that is all on the inside and it's kind of like, well, who's gonna know? I'm gonna know and I know myself and my personality and I know that if that were to happen, it would really bother me to the point where I would probably want to sell the wallet and I do not want to sell this wallet. I absolutely love it. So I started to consider my options for any kind of coin carrier and obviously I wanted it to kind of go well with this wallet and what's going to go better than the round coin purse that you see right here. My initial thoughts on this little item are I would say cautiously optimistic. I've never owned any kind of coin carrier. I've never felt the need to separate my coins from my wallet, but in the case of this origami wallet now, I do feel the need to have them in a separate little carrier. So I think there's going to be a bit of an adjustment period, you know, getting used to the fact that my coins are separate from my cards and cash, and I have this one extra item to carry with me. So time will tell if I end up 
liking this and keeping it as a permanent item in my collection or if I end up reselling it and saying, you know what, to heck with it, I'm just going to use that wallet and that compartment and, you know, come what may as far as the wear and tear goes. But I'm not going to lie, when I first got it and opened it from the box and looked at it, this thing is huge. Look at it. It covers my entire palm and granted my hands relatively speaking are kind of small but i mean this baby is big so i was kind of initially taken aback by that because i'm like wow this is a really big coin purse but given the price point i kind of am appreciating and liking that now because that means this thing can hold a lot of coins and in the videos that i've seen on youtube of other people sharing their round coin purse and packing it up this can hold a ton and i don't have very many coins but i did bring the coins i do have just to kind of give you an idea of how much it can carry so let me just swipe them over here so this is all i have it's not too much but you know it'll give you an idea like i said pop them in here and look i mean there is so much more room in there so i do like that you know should i have a ton of coins on me I can put them here and it'll actually not weigh down my entire wallet. It can just kind of remain here in a way so that my wallet remains relatively light. Um, but I do appreciate the fact that this can hold a lot and will hold a lot. So it kind of makes the amount of money I spent in acquiring it a little more you know, reasonable and kind of makes sense considering how much it can hold. Like I said, time will tell. I think. I think it's gonna grow on me and I think I'm really gonna like it and find myself thinking, how did I ever live without it? But we shall see. I will make sure, you know, once enough time has passed to kind of circle back with you guys and let you know my thoughts and where I stand with it. But for now, like I said, I'm cautiously optimistic about this little cutie. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, do give it that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.